spirit stories. Um, so tonight is story three in regards to Terrace Hill. Um, Terrace Hill, if you live here, um, you know it is the governor's mansion is on the land. Um, the current governor lives there with her family and um, has offices there. Um, you can also take tours of the building, which if you haven't, I highly recommend it. It's one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. Um, so a little bit about Terrace Hill. Um, it's been known as um, Benjamin Franklin Allen's mansion, and it's also been known as the Hubble Mansion. Um, the mansion was originally built in 19, or I'm sorry, 1869, um, for one of Iowa's first million, millionaires, um, Benjamin Franklin Allen and his wife, um, Mary, and I'm gonna hack this name up, Era Thusa, Thus, say, Thus, say, West. Anyways, she went by her middle name, but she's going by her first name because I can't say it. Anyways, and then their three children also were with moved in with them. Um, Catherine, aka Kitty, she was age 12 at the time. Frank Jr. was age 5. Um, and Bessie, she was age 2. And shortly after they moved in, Harry um, was born. Um, but they also did have two daughters pass away that were older than Catherine. Um, one was Franny, and she was age six when she passed away, and Dusty was age two. Um, now in May of, uh, 1873, Mr. Allen lost his fortune. Um, some bad business decisions made him lose his fortune. Um, he sold, um, the land except for eight acres in the mansion. Um, they lived there for a little bit after that, um, but ended up selling to one of, um, Iowa's founding fathers, um, which was, uh, Frederick Hubble, hence Hubble Mansion. Um, thought it was kind of interesting. Um, Mr. Allen built the building, um, bought the land for $250,000. Now, if you'd see the building, it's huge. Um... Now, $250,000 is a lot of money, especially in that time. But for 30 acres in a building, I don't think so. Um, but then in 1973-74, when Mr. Hubble bought it, he paid um, for eight acres and the mansion only $60,000. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Another interesting fact is every building I've talked about is on the historical registry. Why? Why is it there? Why? So they can't touch certain things of the buildings. But I just find it interesting that they're all haunted. Anyways, um, this mansion actually was in, um, inducted in 2003. So um, you ask what's this got to do with spirits land i'm getting there um so i did some digging um because what haunts terrace hill is a little girl um she's transparent um a little rambunctious likes to make the eyes of the paintings move or follow you which is really creepy thank goodness it hasn't happened to me and she likes to play with the elevator. Now, the elevator is very secure. Um, it has codes. So, when you want to go to a different floor, you have to put the code in. Um, however, they've seen it move without anybody in it. Um, they've heard footsteps coming out. People have seen the little girl um, playing around. Um, so, what I did was I started researching who had daughter, a daughter or daughters that passed away? Hubbles didn't have anything that would be that young. But I went back to the Allens. The Allens did have the two girls that passed away. However, I 
find it very interesting that the website for Terrace Hill lists the girls dying at infancy. Digging through ancestry, and I apologize for my snoring. Um, digging through ancestry, I found their death certificates um, for the girls. They were six years old and two years old. Um, so I'm not sure why that website, the official Ter Terrace Hill website, lists them as infancy deaths. Maybe they didn't, they don't want people to know. I don't know. But here's my theory on it. Um, so Franny was six years old and that's about the age they think this little girl is that haunts the mansion. When I saw her name, I just, I was kind of drawn to her. So if you, it makes kind of sense. Little girl, she was six. Yes, she didn't die there, but she followed her parents. She was a little girl. Um, so I'm thinking she liked it there and decided to stay there. Um, and tease people, basically. Um, when I've been in the building, I've never experienced anything. Um, I would love to go back on a tour, um, but unfortunately, like, COVID has made that impossible. Um, so I do truly believe the spirit of the little girl at Terrace Hill is Franny Allen. Um, it just all fits together. Um, I just, a lot of things were really interesting researching, um, but if you have ever been to Terrace Hill and experienced um, seeing the little girl or seeing the elevator move without anybody in it, um, please comment below and um, share your stories. Um, but that's it for tonight. I will be back with story four. I'm not sure what I'm going to research yet, but um, have a good day and be safe. Thanks.